Hey guys, Anthony here. Quick video, had some questions on what I use to power uh, some appliances in my van. And basically I've done some videos on this before with some other applications, but I use the Goal Zero Yeti 150 battery uh, that's right here. And I have a video on this battery, actually a few videos on this battery. Today I just have it set up just to show everyone um, basically how it functions uh, running off solar. Uh, I can also run it off of, uh, power it from the uh, wall charger, you know, regular plug on the wall to charge it, or in this little bag that I carry, a bunch of little adapters for it, and all the necessary ones is the 12-volt lighter adapter that I could plug into my van cigarette lighter 12-volt adapter and charge this while I'm driving the van to keep the battery topped off. Uh, this morning, Sunday, February 22nd, 2015, I've got my Guide 10 Plus charging uh, some four AA batteries, and I have the four AAAs that I have just taped together there so I don't lose them. Uh, that tray just pops into there, and I could charge those. So right now I'm drawing power to charge those off the um, USB that's right here. That's running to the um, Guide 10 Plus. And then I have the Light of Life, which is plugged into the green here. Uh, as you see the green light on right here. And the Light of Life, which has, I believe, a 15-foot cord, which I have rolled up right now. Just have it hanging in the back above my bed. And that's adjustable, that little clamp. I could run this cord to the front of the van, chain multiple lights throughout the van if I had to. Um, and get more light. So that's the Goal Zero Light of Life uh, LED light. And uh, let me try to give you a shot of what the bulb looks like. Make it reach it. There's the bulb on that. I've got a video on that as well. I'll post in the description box. But right now, everything is charging from the solar. And this is the input, your main power input, whether it's 12 volt, the solar, or the uh, regular wall outlet, everything goes into this blue. It's all color coded. Uh, this is just an adapter here for the solar panel. So it's a little pigtail adapter that you need to get with it. And then this cord runs uh, either six or eight feet. I just have it uh, right outside, uh, running outside my van. I have a small easel, artist's easel set up right here. And I have the two Boulder 15 panels uh, linked together, giving me 30 watts of power. Now, granted, I'm not out in the sun. I should be pointed uh, towards the south. I can just move my van if I had to and get these panels in the sun, but I just wanted to do this video uh, to give you guys an example of how this gets set up. I'll show you the back here. <clears throat> Basically, the bottom panel, which is here, the cord that comes out of that panel is right here. It just daisy chains right into the solar port of the next panel right here. So that basically comes out right there. And then you run the panel right to the Goal Zero battery. And you could chain multiple Boulder 15 panels or the Boulder 30 panels, uh, whatever you have. I happen to have two. Uh, Boulder 15s and so that is how I have it set up this morning for the purpose of uh, this video So there's giving you a glimpse now I can Keep this battery in the front with me when I'm driving Keep it charging and also keep it charging my phone uh, my iPhone uh, iPod uh, it'll charge the um, iPad and also certain laptops uh, based on the uh, amperage, you got to ch double check. But the Goal 51, the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 150 battery uh, does a great job. Uh, it's highly recommended. Uh, uh, the, the Yeti 400 would be my next choice. It's a little bit bigger, more um, uh, wattage, and a little more power. Um, that may be my next purchase for the van, uh, the 400 size battery. And I'm also looking at some other companies as well. Uh, Zamp Solar and some others out there that got some pretty cool stuff But right now I'm pretty much invested in Goal Zero on a lot of my gear So I try to keep it 
pretty much standard with them right now. But that's the, um, you know, that's basically what I need. And I have the Nomad 7 panel, the smaller panel that I could just put in the windshield. I could also put one of the Gold Boulder 15s right on the front windshield uh, inside the vehicle uh, if there's sun coming through the window and then hook that panel to this battery as well and, you know, charge the um, Yeti 150 without even having the panels outside the vehicle. So that's a possibility also it's definitely doable so um, thanks for your questions um, that's my setup today as you can see and there it is and I am drawing some power to that battery thanks for joining me guys thanks for the question take care Anthony signing off stay ready